Greetings, divine souls. I greet in the name of our Father, Mother, God, plus all the divine light kingdom. For all the words that you're going to listen to, in case they don't resonate with your heart, I ask you to discard, ask you to discard them or use them to jumpstart the truth that is within uh, your being. Uh, for the message, the reading today uh, is from the angels, whom we call Amayembe Amazade among we, the Baganda uh, community. Um, the reading goes like this, uh, greetings, uh, my dear friends, we love you so much. A massive stream of light is flowing into your dimension at this time. The past few years has caused countless individuals to pray uh, for so much better upon us. While the divine is already sending you a mighty stream of love. It is you who decides how much to allow into your reality. Right now, the human race is asking for love than ever before. And at the same time, uh, wandering between accepting, accepting and resisting it. Uh, this is why you see so much chaos right now. This is why uh, some of you feel uh, much fatigue or such fatigue. As, clear, as clearly as a bounder causes uh, turbulence in a shiftly flow stream, uh, resisting love also causes turbulence in your lives and your world. When you are when you are flowing with the currents of love, you feel good. When you don't, you feel bad. It's really, it's really is that simple. You have made. You are made of love when you are not focused on things that feel love for you or to you. You, re you resist love to varying degrees. This does not make you a bad person. It just, uh, it does, it just, it, it just doesn't give you the most present uh, experiment, experience of life. We know there are things and people that trigger your hunger and your hunger is, um, is a loud signal to turn away from from them and turn your attention towards better, uh, towards what you want. We know that losing a loved one can trigger, can trigger uh, profound grief. Try to focus on the love that is beneath the grief. Uh, love feels good. Longing uh, feels terrible. Love froze with a stream. Longing uh, resists it. You want you want to resist, you want to connect with your dear ones in spirit. You want a relationship. You want to feel uh, their breath. Allow your allow yourself your tears, of course. But when they subsides, focus on the on the happy memories, the presence of your dear ones, even if you cannot feel them yet, and even if you do not quite believe it is possible. Make space in your heart for the for the. Uh, for the external bond uh, that you share and for the internal bond that you share and anticipate that all that that at some point you will connect with them in a new in a new and even more amazing way we would never make you wrong um, for your human grief we greatly seek to assist you finding in finding the energy of love and joy in which you will connect uh, with your dear ones. It is easy uh, to blame the external world for bad feelings, but extremely, uh, you decide if you point your thoughts upstream away from the flow of love or downstream aligned with love. Ultimately, you decide. If you focus, if you focus on, the, on all the lessons in your world or if you look for the good, if you or if you look for the good, ultimately you decide if you are a problem oriented or uh, solution oriented. Ultimately, dear ones, uh, you choose to to tell happy stories about your future or dismal dismal ones, dismals dismals ones, dismals one. You get to choose to focus on the pain or 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 the good, even if. Even if you must imagine the good for now, you choose. Do your best, one 
better feeling uh, thought at a time. Love wants to throw an unobstructed. It wants to help you, guide you towards all you desire. When it is stuffed, denied, and ignored, um, it finds another outlet. Sometimes in disasters. In disasters, people put all uh, differences aside and focus on what is more important. Love, love is allowed to throw. Sometimes uh, when you when you have a feeling comes uh, come up that you are that you have stopped you you must choose to love yourself through it uh, sometimes uh, when you have a physical challenge you must choose to love yourself and embrace more uh, self acceptancy than ever before to heal these challenging circumstances are not necessary but there are consequences of non permitting love and is here outlet for example, um, most physical conditions are known the result of one massive blockage, but rather uh, the result of years of denying your own feeling in small ways. Physical issues can be healed much more quickly these days by consciously aligning with love. Focus on what it would feel like to feel good. If you cannot do that, focus on anything that feels good, little by little. Seek a better feeling and celebrate it each time you find it. Your body knows how to heal. It will be guided to proper care and assistance. The mighty uh, currents of love uh, informs your cells and constantly wants to bring your body back into harmony. Focus on anything present uh, to allow love to work its wonders. Likewise, if you have an an odd emotion pop up, do not push it away or try to ignore it. Love yourself through it. Ask how it is trying to guide you uh, to greater love. Hunger, how you hunger, how you how you are trying to how how are you trying to to guide me to love? Perhaps it is telling you uh, that it is telling it. Perhaps it tells you that uh, revisiting a particular upsetting topic from the past that makes you feel bad is not a self is not a self loving choice, and that is, and that you you would be better served by lifting your attention to what you want. Your hunger will dis dissipate as you permit yourself to to focus uh, uh, forward. Sadness. What are you trying to tell me? Perhaps it is telling you uh, to tell it, it is trying to tell you that you feel something or someone you lost in the in the old in unoutable or unreachable. Someone you reached in is is unreachable. In this case, surrender to thinking about what you want. If even if you do not know how your desire might come about. Surrender to imagining an incredible connection with your dear one in spirit. Surrender to imagining an, e an even better relationship than the ones that did, did not work. Surrender to imagining uh, that house you want even if you do not know how to get, it, to get there. Surrender to imagining a future where you feel good, happy and free and look for those feelings in small ways now. It would it would be said indeed it it would be said indeed if you all had to answer your own prayers using only what you know the creator of the universes wants to help you believe in that and trust in that as as you as you as you align with your thoughts uh, with those people things situations and above all thoughts that make you happy your manifestation will make much more will match much more quickly. You will enjoy delightfully um, magico, magico interaction with your path or magico, magical interaction with your path with your path rather than struggling, uh, efforting and stressing about how to solve your problems and challenges. Surrender to love. What feels better? Ask yourself. Put your focus there. Allow yourself to feel good. Do you have a problem? Stop struggling and try to figure out the solution. And state the outcome at uh, heavenly, happily, 
anticipate the outcome happily and wait for the for the inspiration and the magic to unfold the creator of the universe does know the best and most benevolent solution dear ones you are loved beyond measure you have you have called for a might flow of love surrender to it give yourself permission to turn your thoughts away from what drags you down and towards all that uplifts it is it is better and more productive to focus on appreciating a single flower instead of getting hungry about polit politics. Uh, it is even more powerful to imagine a world, a world at peace, in harmony, filled with uh, kindness and compassion. It is better to enjoy your drinking water with appreciation. Uh, therefore, aligning with love in such a simple compassion than to fear drought. It is even more powerful to anticipate the rush a reservoir filled with water. Do what you can do to point your thoughts uh, with the current of love in the simplest to, in the simplest of ways, and you will reap the benefits of being carried forward by this mighty stream. God bless you. We love you so much, the angels. Namaste.